Welcome to Factorio Masterclass, my name is Nilao. So this is the series here on YouTube covering all aspects of the game and aims to provide insights and resources to help you become a better engineer. We've been running this uh, series since May and uh, there's still lots of stuff we want to get, uh, get done with this series. So uh, thank you very much for your support as we come to the end of 2020. And when we get into 2021, there'll be more things, more cool designs, I hope. So keep your ideas coming. That's where they come from. They come from my Let's Plays and the interaction from the community. So for example, on my Twitch, I am streaming live on Twitch and that is Monday, Tuesdays and no, Tuesday, Thursdays and Sundays for Factorio, but the other days for something else as well. So uh, feel free to drop by. It's uh, at 8 p.m. Central European time and it's on Twitch TV slash Needles. I think I said that. Now, let's just dive into the, uh, the design because we are going to do continue our in-game design with green signs today. So green science or logistic science, that's I believe what it's called. But uh, why are we looking at the red science then? Well, that's because I have uh, two follow-up things from the previous masterclass. One was some people said, oh, there's still a gap. And if there's still a gap, I haven't really seen. Oh, there we go. That was there. I'll just put an extra one. Put it in. You'll never see a gap again. This one will drop down to 224. You're right. There was a slight gap. We saw it. And now it won't be there. Done. The other thing was my little quiz here with why do I have to divide by this ratio of three squared divided by four squared. And it's actually super cheating because it has nothing to do with three squared and four squared. Those are just uh, as much as I could reduce the numbers. Basically what you do is you have, uh, this is just for explanation so that we can, you can understand how this works and we go into the design. There are a hundred here. So, and each tile will contain eight. So that means I'm keeping now 100 or 800 here. If I want to display that as a ratio, then I would divide it by eight. Then that would, that would give me as a percentage, or you could divide by 800 and you get it as a ratio number between zero and one, and then multiply by 45. Uh, then you would get the number of belt items on the belt segment, but I want the items on the belt segment times 10. So you multiply by 10. So it's basically 45 multiplied by 45 divided by 80. And when you start, when you reduce that, you end up with nine divided by 16. So it's nothing with the aspect ratio of, uh, of, uh, of screen size, uh, but it is actually interesting that it's pretty close to five. Anyway, that is purely a coincidence. What we're going to do is <clears throat> we're going to do a design that is pretty much the same as this one if at all possible. That means we are going to, oh, hold on. I want to do there. Yep. So we want to do a design that's like this one and uh, then work, work our way from here. Let's start oops, by this and see how much one of these is making. And you know, the answer is each of these columns should be I want to make something that's designing 22.5 of the green signs because then it, depending on how big you want your base, you just tile these next to each other, make sure the inputs are right and then the outputs are right and then done, mega base. There, I made it sound really, really simple. So again, I am going to say I want 22.5 and I am getting 1.283 per second. So I need 17.5, let's call that 18. I'm gonna need 18 of these bad boys here. That is what? 10. I'm going to have to go up because 18 is quite a lot. So let's go up there. That was, uh, how much was that? That was like 12, 13, 14, something, 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 and something. And yeah, counting, not my strong suit, I guess. 18, there we go. And we'll just check with our max rate calculator. 22.8, looking good. So let's go back and get some kind of calculations on this one we'll get that over on the side so i need 16 point i know exactly it is 16.07 something so it's slightly more than 16. now we know that this one has to be continuing downwards because that's kind of the rule and that means we are going to get the two ingredients we need inbound that will be the first one will be here that one and this obviously can't get oh that one 
And the other one will be here. And let's take a look at these numbers. So I need it 16 point something. Ah, that's not working, but this one isn't. This is way overdone and this is way overdone, underdone. So what I can do is here, try again. Now I have 17.5. 16.25, very much, very much nicer, very much nicer. And I'm going to do that, flip, flip, get that down there and cut this. There. All right, so the reason why I did that is because I need this distance here. So what is the next thing? Now we need, we know we need a lot of this and we need to figure out how much do we need of oops here how much do we need of the gears that one let's get this one one down there and let's have a look at this. Okay, so this is 27.3, 27.3. I think that's enough if this is going, but let's see. <clears throat> I needed 16 here. I needed produce 16 here. So it's one in, one out. So I know productivity. So this one's gonna take 16 per second, 16 point a tiny bit. This one will take one in, two out. So it's going to be half, that's going to be eight. So it's going to be 16 plus eight, 24 plus a tiny bit. And this one was producing 27. It's all good. Let's just take this one and say, I am going to need inputs 28.75. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's in order to make way too many of these. And I'm not going to make way too many of those. So this part, I am going to be brutally honest with you. I spent quite a long time trying to make this fit because it's a lot of things inbound. If we have to look at each one, 16, 16, 16. That means it is two inputs, two outputs, one input, one input, one input, one input. That's as close as we can make it. Everything needs to be two inputs and two outputs. So I need six inserters, no, sorry, eight inserters out of the potential nine I have available here. It's going to be slightly easier for this one. This one is not running as fast, so we can probably make do with one in, one out, but then two out. Uh, also, what are these? But, you know, it actually turns out to be the speed this one's crafting with. It would be nice if I could take just one extra that could just maybe take a bit of whatever is needed, because again, it's one of each of those inbounds. It's going to be eight inbound of each per second. And one of these can, in a full build situation, take eight per second. But yeah, so I'm going to do already saying, well, you know, this one is going to be the stone. Uh, the Sorry, the, why would this take so stone? Iron, All right? And we are also going to put in some power so that we don't get any blinking. And I'm going to put that one here. So we'll do the power at the end, but I don't want blinking here for this design part. Let's do this because this is uh, makes it much easier for you to see what is going on. That will come in here. And my idea is that I will get that one in here. These ones will then be outbound. I'm going to get two outbound here. I'm going to get two outbound here. That one is going to go up and then merge together with this. Get something happy. And um, Actually, I'd rather want it, I need it to be merging there so it can actually merge in there. And then this one can go up to the other one. All good. Something to that effect. And that will then be input, input, input. Let's have a look at this to see if this looks good. And then I can actually do something cool here. No, that's not cool. That's, that's pretty uncool. But I can do that one, which makes it take that out. And from here, and this one is going to obviously jump over so it can put stuff in here. Yes, that's good. That means I need to get this one underneath just to get it on the other side. And I did have this one as the outbound. And that's actually good. 
All right, so then we just need just need the rest. Um, we're actually going to oh crap. Um, that's not ideal. We'll take this one. Infinite filters. No, remove anything that's not. And that one. And these two. This is actually one of the big disadvantages of doing um, op operating in, uh, in in this uh, what is called God mode here because you can't just let robots take care of your junk thing there. So I could do that one. Oops. So that would be okay. Now I just need some green circuits coming in. Just need some green circuits. Easy peasy. Let's get some green circuits in here. And actually, I think I only need one lane inbound because this isn't going to use so much. There. And the outputs on the side. So this is the rated look. <laughs> Extremely easy, but... Uh, trust me, it was not very easy. And this one should be stack size 8. The reason why we do stack size 8 is because then it is much nicer for it to provide a full... Here. Uh, to provide a full belt if possible. So, the reason why this one is also so difficult is because this... There are other ways to design this. But there are not any other ways, at least that I could find, to design it where you also have room for power poles. So let's put a power pole in here and then see where the next one has to be. And it has to be up there, which is a great location. Which is an awful location, I mean. Sorry. I meant it was an awful location. And look at that. And I think I'll just put this one first. One, two. We'll put it here. Really? It, it has to be down there? Hmm. That one. And the last one will be here. That's weird. And I will now take this inbound. Copy, copy, uh, paste, paste, paste. Paste. Paste, paste, paste. Good. And I'm going to get that one. And then we'll take from the uh, red circuit build we did last time. I'm going to take this one. Oh, that, that's, that's not good. That's, that's really bad. <laughs> that's really bad. Yeah, we'll do this one. So this is again our counter. We'll see what it gets up to. And I think it'll get up to too much right now because yeah, the belts, uh, everything has been stockpiling. We'll just let it, there we go. Just let it actually get back to sort of a more of a steady state instead of anything else. Exactly like we did the other one, I am going to use these as a sort of a compensation on this outside belt. I could, and this is something I have for contemplating, the distance between this one and this one, it's overlapping by one. So I could shunt it up by one. And by all of it, you know, that's uh, that's actually what we're going to do. Yeah. Here. That one. That one and this one can then also be shunted up by one here. Which means I can now have three of those next to each other. Which will just help guarantee that this one will be uh, it should be the top one, the red indicator over on the right hand side, should get all the way up to 22.5 or 225, then I know it's good. Except it's not good. Why is it not good? Something is not working with this one. I think it was actually the green one that ran out. Oh, I ran out. Why did it run out? Ah, because we're not getting enough. We are simply not getting enough here. That one. And make sure that we get two lanes in because we're simply staffed for iron. We are no longer staffed for iron anymore. Yeah, that's pretty obvious, right? Should have seen that coming. It needs 67.5 in order to support all of it. Yeah. 
And we now have more than enough, so that's good. Anything we want to ditch here? Yep, definitely. And now we just wait again for this to stabilize. It's going to take a while for this one to get out, but I think this one is looking good. I'm monitoring that this one never gets any blinking thing. No, look good. Everything is good. None of these are ever running out. And it actually has to do with the fact that each of these take two inbound. It's 16 per second, 16 and a tiny bit. So one inserter can obviously not keep up. This one takes eight per second. And even though theoretically one of these should be able to keep up, I think it would have gaps if it didn't have the last one, which can then take whatever it feels that is missing here. Let's see if it always takes one. Yeah, it will stall sometimes because it, it is too much outbound. Let's see, does it always take gears? Nope, look at that, it alternates. It takes one and then takes some of the other ones. It's great. This is super nice. And let's go up here and see if this has stabilized. 225, thank you very much. That is how you do a crisp masterclass on New Year's Eve so that you don't have to, you can actually go out and uh, and party like a crazy person. No, no, you can't. You can stay home with the family instead and celebrate with the family. So that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, But I will make sure that if you wake up hungover and want to do some green circuit, uh, green science design, I don't know how many times have I said green circuits this, ep circuits this episode? Too many, I guess, too many indeed. But I mean, it wouldn't be me if I did not make sort of mistakes like that. Then the only thing we're missing is actually just plopping down a few here and I don't know, where do we want the outputs? I mean, this is probably just a fine place to put it, I guess. It has to be on the side because otherwise it gets into trouble with those. And there you have it. That is the blueprint we want to have. You have your green circuits here. It's making 22.5 per second. And if you want more, just hit it like that. That's the beauty of, of these modular designs. We're making modular in-game designs and you just have to feed it more inputs and then you can harvest twice as much output. You can do fourth, seventh, whatever you want, as long as you can keep the trains, the material, raw materials coming in and keep the power supplied. That's gonna be it. We didn't even have time to, uh, to stop and thank the patrons. So I'm just gonna do that now. Thank you, lovely patrons who have uh, made it possible for me to come through this year. And I really appreciate all of the support that you've given me. And I can only hope that uh, I can deserve your support uh, going into 2021. I will do my very best to uh, make sure that I deserve the support that you're giving me and the channel here. So thank you very much for a great 2020 and hopefully from a gaming perspective, of course, and hopefully we'll get much more new and exciting journey. A new and exciting journey will start in 2021. And of course, if you want to hang out, come to uh, the live streams Every, pretty much every evening on Twitch TV slash Nilaus and it's 8 p.m. Central European time. Hang out in the Discord. There's more than 10,000 members on the Discord server. That's pretty crazy. And lots of discussions and lots of interesting ideas being floated around. And aside from this, I'm just going to say have a happy new year and hopefully 2021 will be better than 2020. And going into the new year, stay effective.